Hey YouTube family, this is Leah Boone with Monarch Ministries. Welcome to the channel. You guys, I had to leave work and come home because I just have this like excitement in this, like I can feel this excitement in the spirit. I mean, it is so tangible. I was like weeping a second ago. The month of June is, is, I don't know who this word is for, but God is about to do some amazing things in your life. I saw 2222 and I knew right away that the Lord was talking about the key of David. It says the key of the house of David, I will lay on his shoulder so he shall open and no one shall shut and he shall shut and no one shall open in the in the Living Bible, it says, I will give him responsibility over all my people and whatever he says will be done. None will be able to stop him. I, three times yesterday, I think two or three times yesterday, I, I don't know, I had that dream about the change and then um, Chantel Ekeby, that was her prayer was up. There was change coming. I was like, whoa. And we prayed twice on it yesterday. And then... Um, Dr. Lovey, um, a prayer, a one hour long prayer that I prayed along with about, um, being anointed and appointed and God backing the things that you say, like prophesying into your life, like speaking the things that you want to see in your life. And then God backing it up in the name of Jesus, though, that is the key of David to be able to open a door that no demon in hell can shut. And God is like giving you this authority and these keys. He's giving you this stuff. And you're things are going to be happening in your life that no demon in hell can steal. In the name of Jesus. I saw the number 3888. I saw this number twice. Then I saw the number 38 everywhere. And the number 388. Like just one right after the other, like everywhere. And 388 in Hebrew Strong's Concordance means steady flowings. It's also the seventh month of the Jewish calendar, which was called Ethanim, but it's now called Tishri. And the Lord has been speaking to me about the seventh month. I got a revelation the other day that some of you will be seeing some of this stuff coming to pass before July of this year. Some of you will be seeing it to come to pass before Tishri, one Tishri, which is September 16th. So within the next four months, you will be seeing a lot of your blessings coming to pass this year by September 16th, which is the Jewish New Year. And some of you in the month of June, before 7-1, before um, July 1st, in the name of Jesus. He, he gave me this revelation the other day. But today, I mean, he was just really downloading this excitement in my spirit. And I was like, Lord, what is this? What is just so tangible? And it was like, I feel saturated in it, like just slathered in this excitement about what the Lord is fixing to do in this month. I mean, it's just pouring. He's pouring out blessings in this month in the name of Jesus. Take this word back to the Lord for confirmation, but this, this should just be confirmation to things that you're already seeing and feeling in the spirit or things that he has spoken to you. He's given you the house of, He's giving you the keys to the house of David so you can shut, so you should, can open and no one can shut, and you can shut and no one can open. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus, the Lord has been confirming this all morning, all day yesterday. He's really speaking, y'all. I, I mean, I, I've been saying this. I've been saying this. The month of June is going to be wonderful. It's going to be phenomenal. Believe this and receive it. 
If you do not believe this, if you have something else that's speaking into your existence, you need to shut that voice down. You need to pray to God and shut that voice down because the Lord is wanting to do wonderful things in your life in this month. Believe it and receive it. Believe this word because it is absolutely coming to pass. There are some amazing things that are going to come to pass in your life in this month. In the next four weeks, I promise you. Um, and don't take it from me. This is a word from the Lord. The Lord has been downloading this in my spirit um, for weeks now. And I know, I know and I can testify by last um, summer. And not even last summer, but the... Every, it seems like there's a cycle of, of blessings being poured out in this time. Because I can testify that like every summer, like clockwork, the Lord has done something amazing in my life. And um, wow, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, that you are so amazing and so wonderful. The Lord is so amazing. Jesus is so amazing. Father, we just love you. We worship you. We thank you, Father, for everything that you're fixing to do in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we believe your word. We believe your prophets in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Jesus is so amazing. He's so amazing. I got the number 133 a couple of times, and that is um, the number for praise. That's the sign the Lord shows me for praise. So praise him. Praise him to, to bring these things to pass. Now these, these blessings are not going to come to pass on their own. There is work that has to be done. I mean, the Lord has asked you to work on something or um, he has you working on something. Whatever it is that you're putting your hands to, the Lord wants to bless you in that thing. So be sowing your seeds, be tithing, be um, working on that project that God has had you been working on, that he's had you work on. Did that make sense? You know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, be working on that thing. Be working on the things of God. Be putting, um, you know, God first in your life. Matthew 6, 33, everything. Um, be going to him in the secret place. God wants to bless you. God wants to bless you. He loves you and he wants to bless you. So give him something to work with in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is pouring out this month in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance available also this month in the name of Jesus. Um, I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Y'all have a blessed weekend. And if you had joined in on the fast, I hope that is going well for you. Um, I know if you are a beginner at fasting... Um, it was just six to six, you know, water, tea, or coffee only. And I know some people like have come back and said, well, that's not how you fast, you know, but the Lord is lenient. Um, he didn't make me do like a hard fast the whole last year while I was learning how to fast. I mean, he was very lenient and he still, I mean, he was still blessing me because there's grace for that. There's, I mean, he's not, he, he's a loving God. He is not like, you know. You got to do it this way. No, God is not like that. He He's very loving and there's grace for you if you have not um, been fasting before and just came to fasting. Um, he's very lenient, you know, and if you break your fast, it's okay. Just repent and get back on the fast and he's still going to bless you because he loves you. And um, it's a learning process. There's a learning curve. There's grace for that. So um, don't be too hard on yourself. God loves you and he wants to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So um, this is the second day of the fast. The fast goes through tomorrow. Um, it's 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Water, tea, and coffee only. No, no milk or sugar or anything like that in your tea or coffee. Just so it's basically flavored water. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Um, but go by his leading. Ask him what he wants you to do. Um, and he'll show you. He'll give you confirmations. Um, he is always speaking. He is speaking to you. And he loves you. And he wants. He is probably. If you're not recognizing the signs. 
this is why you need to fast so that you can grow um, spiritually. It connects you more spiritually to him and it, um, it helps you to um, see the signs. It helps you to be in the spirit more because you're um, crucifying your flesh in the name of Jesus. Okay. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This was part of it. I can't believe I forgot this, but um, I've been seeing lucky in the spirit. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Lucky. Um, people are going to be saying that you're lucky, but it's not going to be luck. It's going to be God that is doing these things in your life, but people that don't, um, understand or um your enemies they're they're gonna they're not gonna understand how these things are coming to pass in your life and they're gonna be like man she's so lucky or man he's so lucky how did how did he get that or how did that happen so fast and and stuff like that they're gonna be saying that um because the because God is fixing to do some amazing things in your life and he's fixing to let you skip the line. This is something else he's been showing me um, that it's, that it doesn't, you know, it's your turn. It's your turn. And um, he's letting you skip the line because it now is the appointed time for these blessings to come forth in the mighty name of Jesus. So um, that's what people are going to be saying. They're going to be saying, you're so lucky, but it has nothing to do with luck because luck is witchcraft, basically. And it has everything to do with the fact that you've been seeking God. You've been seeking the Lord. You've been in your secret place. You've been warring through this warfare that has been extreme over, you know, the last year or two or however long it's been for your walk. And the Lord is now rewarding you for, for being such a faithful follower and um, doing the things that he's asked you to do for being so obedient. And so he's letting you skip the line because it's now the appointed time for you to receive what the Lord has to offer you. And um, you've probably been seeing um, other people getting their blessings, you know, over the last year and, and, you know, He's been watching your heart posture on that because, you know, you've been waiting a long time too. And, um, he's very, he's very proud of you because, um, you didn't get jealous. You, you were happy for those people when they received their blessings. So, um, I don't know who this word is for, but you will, you should know if it's for you because it, it should be like, like God is just confirming it like all over the place. And, um, you've been through extreme warfare, um, for a long time and, um, just take it back to the Lord, but this is confirmation. Um, and I, ha I just had to come back. I had to come home from work and share this with you guys because I was just, I was like, Oh Lord, what is this? <laughs> it was just like, it was so strong and he was just, he was just confirming just right and left. I mean, everywhere I looked, he was just like, listen, this is happening. This is happening in the name of Jesus. So I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Y'all have a blessed weekend and, um, keep going on your fast. I encourage you to keep going on your fast. If you broke your fast, it's okay. Just get back on. Um, we're doing it till tomorrow. Um, just six to six in the name of Jesus. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.